Hi, this is Nick Matucci with Work Otter. In the previous introduction video, we went through the entire process of getting Work Otter set up to best practices. So we covered an overview, the success factors, the phase one scope, timeline and resources. We're going to focus on the phase one scope, and I'm going to give you an overview of the deliverables we need to be successful. So as we talked about, the phase one scope for our clients that is highly recommended are the following features within Work Otter. This includes the intake process, should that be necessary for your type of business. We find that our clients who are more client-facing don't tend to use this process initially. We will cover project management basics, team setup, planning, status reporting, and one or more logs like issues and risks and changes. For those clients who are ready and able to have team members report their time, we include the time management in that phase one scope. For those clients looking for resource capacity planning, we will include forecasting and portfolios as part of our resource management implementation. Of course, all clients want and realize the benefits of dashboards and visualizations, so we'll help you down select from the many templates we offer to the ones that are most important to you. And then we want to instill in you a continuous improvement process so that you're constantly thinking about your implementation and you don't plateau with your phase one implementation. So to make these benefits a reality, we need some things from you. And this is an introduction to the deliverables that we're going to ask you for at the beginning of this engagement. So these are the implementation deliverables for the phase one scope that you just saw. So these things are all expectations we have of you so that again we can serve you and meet your needs. Let me give you a brief introduction to these things and then the preceding videos will go much deeper and show you exactly how to get us this information and in what format and what questions to be asking yourself as you gather it. So one of the things you'll be getting is your initial login to your production instance. Once we provision your very initial site, you'll get a blank site waiting for you to input the many things it takes to be successful. And one of the first things you'll want to be able to do is set up the global configuration settings. These are kind of the universal settings that impact how the system looks and feels. Uh, that's done only by the initial administrators. Another thing that you either are working on now or will be working on very shortly is the configuration population spreadsheet. This is an interactive Excel spreadsheet that works directly with our Work Otter solution and allows you to upload a brand new configuration with things like people and organization roles and many of the drop down values that determine how your site looks and feels. It's also how you can do mass changes. So Many of our clients will download this from Work Otter and it'll be populated with their existing production data. They'll make some changes locally and re-upload it. So we'll go through that. If you are implementing the intake process, then we'll need to know how to set up the form. What are you going to ask people who are going to use that process? How do you gather that initial information? And there's also a scorecard that we have that lets you measure the business value of these income, incoming intake and requests. We also have the same for the project. So we'll need to know what fields you've identified or should identify when you create a new project. We'll want to gather up any critical existing reports that you want mimicked or you want us to help you find the closest possible match in Work Otter. A critical success factor for us is being able to set up your project templates. Those are going to be project plans that you want to repeat and they can be for particular internal or external clients. They can be based on different types of projects but these templates just allow you to start every project a little closer to completion than the time before and they can have other things than just the project plan. You can have a team of roles or a team of actual people and those can be pre-assigned. You can have a risk assessment or different risks that you want brought in every time you create a new project. So these are things that we'll want to set up ahead of your go live date. Your IT folks will need to get back to us uh, and fill out the single sign-on uh, configuration. 
so that we know how to set it up if you're going to use that feature so that you don't have to have your own IDs and passwords to log into WorkOtter. And last but not least, for our clients who are using the timesheet, we want to set up what we call administrative time projects. These are things like PTO, SICK, other things that aren't necessarily real projects. They don't really have a start and an end date, but you want to be able to collect and track and manage this administrative time. And this can include having a vacation calendar and things like that. So these are the initial deliverables we're going to be requesting from you. And in the following videos, we'll go through each one step by step so that you can see exactly what information we're looking for, how to set them up, and how to make sure that you're asking yourselves the right questions to be most successful with your initial work order phase one implementation.